It's Marshall and UCF right now. Can't play that way, Ken. <laughs> and two tight end formation. Lee Smith, 16, is in there along with Slate. Looking in that direction is Anderson. Under duress, he fires, and it's going to be a touchdown. And who else but Cody Slate? I think it's a good move to go for it. Even if you don't get it, you're playing the battle of field position, and Marshall gets the ball deep in their own territory. But they've got this big, strong offensive line. You should be able to pound out a yard. Or maybe they go over the top for the end zone for the touchdown. Kamar Aiken. For Tannemore, 9 for 9 in field goals. This one from 30. Bit of a high snap. But he got it. He handled it very well. well Nick Detroit can handle a long field goal. You see his numbers on the year. But that one was partially blocked, and this is Ashton Hall on the return. Gets a couple of blocks. Ashton Hall's got a chance here. If he can get a block not in the back, and he'll fall at the 32-yard line. There is Marshall behind Slate leading the way. Marshall cuts back and in for six. Well, that's good coverage by the Marshall secondary, and that's going to be a sack. A little pressure up the middle here, and Hodges escaped unbelievably, but he better watch out. He's not going to escape twice. Boy, the thunder here. They've been burning quite a few minutes off of the clock here in a scoreless third quarter. First deep shot. And it is caught unbelievably by Aaron Dobson. 46 yards. Caught that in double coverage. Wow, and just a one-man route, too. Make it 21. Make it good. <laughs> so Marshall eats up a lot of clock, and they put three on the board. The only points in this third quarter so far is a 13-point lead enough to shift UCF out of their game plan? We'll find out when we return. Jonathan Davis at the tailback. And Hodges in big trouble just set up a Marshall field goal. Here comes some more pressure. It's blocked, though. Hodges, first down. That's Aiken. Is Make it tough to throw. And that's what they do here, J.C. And there is pressure, and there's a sack. The sack. Instead, they go down the field again, J.C., and it is caught. How unbelievable Dobson's second remarkable catch of the night. Has to Personal turn his foul. head around. Offense, number 79, illegal use of hands to the face. Wow. Half the distance to the goal, third down. Forget the catch. It is misting in the Orlando area. We did expect a tiny chance of rain. It's hardly even rain compared to what can happen in the state of Florida, J.C., <laughs> with the rain that you can get here. Yeah. Best starting field position for UCF following that wild exchange of penalties and big plays that were nullified. And now let's see what the Knights can do from the Marshall 43. They can do that. That's going to get them a first down. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that call. Not the prettiest handoff you'll ever see, but it's a touchdown for the Knights. Harvey, please wiped it out, and that led to this. Harvey with a touchdown run to play and ended up helping out the other team. He made a play, but <laughs> the wrong guy. But that looked a little clumsy right there, and a great play by Anderson, and the ball's down. Knights have it. Here he comes again. This time he's blocked by the tight end, Missy. Toward the end zone, caught inside the five. Aiken, did he make it? No. He's a yard away. Get up. Uncovered receiver is Ross. There's nobody yeah, there's on nobody out there. He's waving his hands. There's nobody there. Touchdown. The you are, but look of at college him. football. But look at this. Uncovered, nobody there. And look at look at Rocky Ross. He's wing waving like, "Hey, look at me." There is nobody out here, and he just runs, it, and it's just too easy. And again, that is defensive personnel on the field, and they leave a guy uncovered. That's the beauty of college football. 
And you can feel the stadium and see for yourself. <laughs> Anderson sacks himself. Game over. An unbelievable victory for George O'Leary and the Knights of UCF.